Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and there are often times that I do not have pockets in the outfit that I'm wearing, and I need them, especially if I'm filming or I'm in my sewing room. So I do have a little apron with the pockets in it. Now, it's just a very plain black one, and it was a store-bought one. I know, don't be surprised. So it's very boring. So I think it's time to spruce this up and do some embroidery. So this is that little market apron, and it was store-bought. However, it is rather boring. So I think I want to do some embroidery along the top. This is a polyester cotton, and I would have to say it's more of a medium to heavy weight. And what I'm going to use to embroider on this is my nice big box of 96 poly sheen threads. And they are a beautiful collection. This embroidery line is from Mettler, and it's called poly sheen. Now, this thread is 100% tribal polyester. Polyester thread is a lot stronger than rayon thread, so it makes it great for embroidery. The polyester thread is strong, it is color fast, and it has a beautiful glossy finish to it. Now you can get them in the small 220 yards, but you can also get 164 colors in the larger 879 yard packages. There's definitely a lot to choose from. For the embroidery thread, I do use a bobbin net thread, and I have it both in black and white, and I do use embroidery needles. And in this case, I'm going to be using a 9014. So this will go in the bobbin, this will go in the top, and when you need to decide what color bobbin to use, as a general rule, it matches the closest to your background fabric. So my background fabric is black. I will be putting black in the bobbin. I do have a scrap piece of fabric that's very similar to this weight. And I did test some of those beautiful threads just by using some built-in stitches on my machine. I did some lettering and just some fun designs. And you can see how well they show up on that black. But for the apron, I do want to do an embroidery on one corner. Now I have a Bernina 790 and there's a beautiful rose pattern that will fit perfect right here in this corner. And I'm gonna show you how beautiful this thread stitches up. But the first thing I'm going to do is prep my work. I'm going to remove that tag so it's not in the way. And if I had any wrinkles, I would iron the wrinkles out. And now I'm going to get rid of any of the lint. I will need to put a stabilizer on the back. And for that, really, you can use whatever your favorite is. And I will be using a sticky back cutaway stabilizer. Now I can load up my hoop and bring it to the machine. My rose only consists of two colors, the rose itself and all of the beautiful green. So I have decided to do a nice bright pink and a green. We're going to start with the pink. And I do have black right in my bobbin. I do have both of the bobbin and the top thread up. And I'm going to start my machine very slow so I can do a little bit and I can trim off these ends. Now I can turn up the speed just a little bit, and I can't wait for you to see how beautiful this thread stitches up. So you can see how beautiful this is stitching. The thread has a nice shine. It's not giving any trouble at all with this heavier fabric. And even when the machine is going quite fast, the thread is still working beautifully. So there's a beautiful shine and finish to this thread. Let's look at the green.
So this fabric was a heavier weight fabric. It's still stitched out beautifully. And we have that shine, none of the thread frayed. So this works really good for our home embroidery machines and the big embroidery machines but we can also use this thread for built-in stitches on our sewing machine. I'm going to use the built-in stitches and put my name Laura here. You can really see how beautiful that stitched out. And just because it's always fun to see the back, the back stitched out beautifully. I'm really happy with that little rose and my little signature. So having over 400 colors definitely makes it really nice to be able to choose from. We can use the small spools if we only need a little bit, but if we're doing big huge projects, we can get the larger colors. It's 100% polyester, so we know it's going to wash well, wear well, and it definitely stitched really nice. Now I happen to have a case of 96, but you can buy them individual spools, doesn't matter the size. Now that apron is definitely a little bit more my style, and I will enjoy wearing it a whole lot more. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and I do have a newsletter all under So Very Easy. I'll put some links in the description for you, and I will put some links if you want to check out the Mettler Polishing Thread. Thank you for joining me. Bye for now.